Second entry aid and technique. <clears throat> Sorry, this one is wrong. Let me fix this one. So today we'll see some more functionality within a sales order. Okay, so like um, uh, entry aids, like for example, if you look at this slide, how you can uh, make uh, like fast changes in several document or one document. Okay, so for example, if I open a sales order here, and uh, let me open an old sales order. Uh, not this one. Try another one. Maybe let me create a new one. So for example, in this sales order, we have suppose uh, more than one item. Okay, so here you can say two items, but it could be 10 items, it could be 20 items as well. Okay, now for if you want to make some mass changes, for example, you can see by default, the plant is this. Okay, and suppose you want to change the plant or any other data for all the items. So one way is to do is to do it one by one or I will change if you want to do the same changes for all the plant. So one thing is I will change it manually here, manually here, and if we, if I have 10 items, <coughs> I will do for all the 10 items. And the other way, there's a, there's, a, there's a fast method. All you need to do is to, if you go to this one, edit, fast change of, for example, you can uh, fast change, you can mass change, you can say, all the items in one go uh, for these fields. For example, if you want to change plant, if you want to change billing block, delivery block, reason for this, anything. Okay, for example, here if I check uh, select plant, okay, select plant. Sorry, I need to select the items for which I want to ch change. So, for, for example, in this case, I want to change two items together. So, I'll go to edit, fast change, plant. And here it's asking me what plant I want to change for all the selected items. So here I can change it. I can say, okay, I want to change it to something else. For example, um, maybe the other one, it will not accept, but let me try. Because the material should exist in that plant as well. That's the main thing. Tick. Now you can see the plant will be changed here. Okay, so it's not changing because the materials should exist in that plant. Okay, but 
but it will change if the material exists in those plants. Okay, so in this way, even if I if I show you, if I go to the list, list item details, so I can select this icon, go to item details, and here if I go to the shipping tab, here I can uh, not shipping um, uh, billing, for example. Here I can put a billing block. Okay, so if you want to put a billing block, okay, or a delivery block, there should be a delivery block as well here somewhere. Um, Um, even with reason of rejection if you want to change for all items. Let me find the delivery block first. Should be here somewhere. Um, Yeah, it's, it's here, delivery block. If you want to put a delivery block, okay. So anything you can do it via this uh, fast chain process. For example, for two items or maybe 10 items, I can select them. I can go to um, edit, fast change, and I can say I want to change billing block or delivery block or reason of rejection. Okay, if I want to put a delivery block, I will select delivery block. And I will say... Uh, header block is this or select our item block is this okay so don't worry about the header block I want to put the item blocks only so I will select the item block so for example I will say the block I want to put here is uh, credit limit so customer didn't uh, pay us the previous amount now we don't want to uh, send the goods for this sales order I would say take so done so delivery block has been changed okay so system has put the delivery block here okay so you can see the delivery block is here for the first line, but the second line is not, but must be some customizing or something, or must be some other reasons that we need to look at. But this is how you can uh, mass change for all the items, okay, using this fast change option. Okay. Then we have the next one is fast change of several documents. So this is all about one document, but if you want to change, um, say, more than one sales order, okay, then how can I do it? So let me show you. So if there's a transition called mass, M A W S, M A W S, mass. Okay. So mass mean means mass change. Okay, and this is very crucial uh, transition which should not be uh, used by any anyone. Like it should be used by experienced person only because uh, if there's a little mistake, someone can change thousand of documents uh, by mistake. So here I will select. Um, sales order see I want to change sales order okay sales order and execute and here I can select what I want to change I want to change sales order header I want to change sales order item for example header I will select header and I can say that for which sales document I want to change okay and here I can enter those sales document okay or if I click here I have some other options for example I can enter a single entry for example I can say 301390 sales order number and 301380 or something okay or I can select a range if I click on this one I can select a range or I can from within that range I can exclude a value I can exclude a range as well okay so for example let me select here in the main screen I will say no here I will select say 301382 uh, order to say just say three order okay three sales order three zero one three eighty five execute maybe that's a wrong sales order number let me open another screen and I will search for the sales order number so uh, three one three three eight one so sorry, sorry that was the customer number I remember three one three three eight one so one three three eight one to say one three three eight five okay so in this series so execute 
So these are my sales orders. So what I want to change? So I need to select the thing I want to change. For example,